If you want to improve your English, just listen to this video all the time, even while sleeping. Just keep the video on while you're doing your daily activities. At some point, you'll start to understand English. Before we begin, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Listen carefully. 1. Shake. Shake is a versatile word with several meanings. It can mean to agitate or move something up and down or side to side quickly, like shaking a bottle. It can also mean to dust off or remove loose particles from something by shaking, like shaking a blanket or a rug. Furthermore, it can mean to shock or upset someone by a sudden, unpleasant surprise, and to disturb or unsettle someone's thoughts, feelings, or beliefs. Thus, shake can be used in various contexts where we agitate, dust off, shock, or disturb something or someone. Present tense I usually shake hands when I meet new people. I don't usually shake hands when I meet new people. Do you usually shake hands when you meet new people? Past tense I shook the blanket outside to clean it yesterday. I didn't shake the blanket outside to clean it last week. Did you shake the blanket outside to clean it? Future tense I will be shaken if I hear unexpected news. I won't be shaken even if I face a difficult situation. Will you be shaken if something unexpected happens during the interview? Use of modal verbs You should shake his beliefs by providing strong evidence. We shouldn't shake his confidence with unnecessary criticism. Could you shake his thoughts by presenting a different perspective? 2. Uncover Uncover is a versatile word with several meanings. It can mean to remove a cover or topping from something, such as taking off a hat or unveiling a statue. It can also mean to discover or bring to light information or a fact, like uncovering a secret or finding out the truth. Additionally, it can mean to reveal or expose something that was hidden or unknown, like uncovering your feelings or thoughts. Thus, uncover can be used in various contexts where we disclose, reveal, or expose something. Present tense I usually uncover my head when I am indoors. I don't usually uncover my head when I am outdoors due to the ultraviolet rays. Do you usually uncover your feelings when you talk to your family? Past tense I uncovered an old photo in the attic yesterday. I didn't uncover any useful information during my research last week. Did you uncover the truth about the incident? Future tense I will uncover the mystery if I continue my investigation. I won't uncover the solution if I don't think creatively. Will you uncover any new discoveries in your expedition? Use of modal verbs We should uncover the root cause of the problem to solve it effectively. We shouldn't uncover personal details without consent. Could you uncover the hidden meaning in this poem? 3. Snatch Snatch is a versatile word with several meanings. It can mean to grab quickly or seize something quickly or eagerly, like snatching a snack when you're in a hurry. It can also mean to take suddenly or obtain something suddenly, eagerly, or without permission, like snatching a golden opportunity. Furthermore, it can mean to secure hastily or gain something quickly or by prompt action, like snatching a few moments of rest during a busy day. It can also mean to interrupt by taking or cutting in, like snatching the conversation. Thus, snatch can be used in various contexts where we quickly grab, take, secure, or interrupt something. Present tense I usually snatch a quick lunch during work hours. I don't usually snatch things from others. Do you usually snatch the newspaper to read it first in the morning? Past tense I snatched the last ticket to the concert yesterday. I didn't snatch the opportunity when it came last week. Did you snatch a moment of rest during the busy day? Future tense I will snatch the chance to speak at the conference if I can. I won't snatch the last slice of pizza from you. Will you snatch the opportunity to travel if it arises? Use of modal verbs You should snatch the chance to study abroad. We shouldn't snatch other people's ideas without giving credit. Could you snatch a few minutes to discuss this? Before beginning our speaking practice, let's learn some new vocabulary, today's keyword, to improve our English skills. Shake. 
Understanding shake. Let's explore the term, shake. At its most basic, this word refers to moving something back and forth or up and down in a quick or regular manner. Shake, in specific contexts. In addition to its basic meaning, shake can also refer to the action of removing loose particles or dust from an item, such as a blanket or a rug. Shake, to express shock or surprise. Furthermore, Shake can also be used to express the action of surprising or unsettling someone with a sudden, unpleasant surprise. Shake to disturb beliefs. Finally, shake can be used to describe the action of unsettling or disturbing someone's beliefs, thoughts, or feelings. This usually means causing someone to question what they previously thought was true. Recap the versatility of shake. In conclusion, while shake primarily refers to a quick or regular movement. It can also be used in a variety of contexts to describe actions that agitate, surprise, or disturb. More detailed explanation. 1. Physical action. Example. He began to shake the bottle of orange juice. In this context, shake is used to describe the physical action of moving the juice bottle quickly back and forth to mix its contents. Two. Emotional reaction. Example. I was so nervous, my hands started to shake. Here, shake is used to express a physical reaction to an emotional state. In this case, the speaker's hands are shaking due to nervousness. 3. Cleaning process. Example. Remember to shake out the tablecloth after the picnic. In this instance, shake refers to the action of removing crumbs or dirt from the tablecloth by moving it quickly up and down or side to side. 4. Disbelief or shock. Example. The news of the accident really shook me. Here, shake is used metaphorically to describe the speaker's emotional response to shocking news. 5. Challenge or disruption. Example. We need to shake up our daily routine to keep things interesting. In this context, shake is used to describe the act of making significant changes to disrupt a usual pattern or routine. Uncover. Understanding uncover. Our focus for today is the term uncover. Essentially, this word is used when we remove a cover from something, revealing what's hidden beneath. Uncover, in discovering contexts. In addition to its basic meaning, uncover, can also refer to the action of discovering or revealing hidden information or facts. Uncover, to reveal. Furthermore, uncover, can also be used to express the action of revealing or exposing something that was previously hidden or unknown. Uncover, in various forms. While, uncover, is most commonly used as a verb. It can also be part of a noun phrase, such as in an uncover operation, which refers to an activity intended to reveal secret information. Recap the versatility of uncover. In conclusion, uncover primarily refers to the action of removing a cover, but it can also be used in a variety of contexts to describe actions that discover, reveal, or expose something. More detailed explanation. 1. Physical action. Example. Please uncover the food, it's time to eat. Here, uncover refers to removing a lid or cover from something, in this case, the food. 2. Discovery process. Example. I managed to uncover some interesting facts while researching for my project. In this context, uncover is used to express the discovery of new or hidden information. 3. Emotional expression. Example. He decided to uncover his feelings to her. Here, uncover is used metaphorically to express the revelation of hidden emotions or sentiments. 4. Problem solving. Example. We need to uncover the root of the problem to solve it effectively. In this instance, uncover refers to discovering or revealing the main cause of a problem. 5. Revelation. Example. The investigation was able to uncover the truth behind the incident. Here, 
uncover is used to denote the act of revealing or exposing the truth that was previously hidden or unknown. Snatch. Understanding snatch. We're going to discuss the term snatch. Primarily, this word means to grab or seize something quickly or eagerly. Snatch, in taking contexts. In addition to its basic meaning, snatch can also refer to the action of taking or obtaining something suddenly, often without permission. Snatch, to secure hastily. Furthermore, snatch can also be used to express the action of securing or gaining something quickly or by prompt action. Snatch, in various forms. While snatch is most commonly used as a verb, it can also be a noun, such as in the phrase, make a snatch at, where it refers to a quick, abrupt movement to grab something. Recap the versatility of snatch. In conclusion, snatch primarily refers to the action of grabbing something quickly, but it can also be used in a variety of contexts to describe actions that take or secure something suddenly or eagerly. More detailed explanation. 1. Physical action. Example. He managed to snatch the last piece of cake before anyone else could. Here, snatch refers to grabbing or taking something quickly, in this case, the last piece of cake. 2. Opportunity seizing. Example. I snatched the chance to interview the celebrity when it was offered. In this context, snatch is used to express the act of taking an opportunity quickly and eagerly. 3. Quick break. Example. She snatched a quick nap during her lunch break. Here, snatch denotes securing or gaining something quickly, in this case, a quick nap. 4. Interruption. Example. He snatched the conversation, eager to share his opinion. In this instance, Snatch refers to interrupting by taking over or cutting into a conversation. 5. Stealing. Example. The thief snatched her purse and ran away. Here, snatch is used to denote the act of taking something suddenly and without permission, in this case, a purse. From now on, I'll read each sentence of today's story. Listen carefully and try to follow along. I usually shake hands when I meet new people. I usually shake hands when I meet new people. I don't usually shake hands when I meet new people. I don't usually shake hands when I meet new people. Do you usually shake hands when you meet new people? Do you usually shake hands when you meet new people? I shook the blanket outside to clean it yesterday. I shook the blanket outside to clean it yesterday. I didn't shake the blanket outside to clean it last week. I didn't shake the blanket outside to clean it last week. Did you shake the blanket outside to clean it? Did you shake the blanket outside to clean it? I will be shaken if I hear unexpected news. I will be shaken if I hear unexpected news. I won't be shaken even if I face a difficult situation. I won't be shaken even if I face a difficult situation. Will you be shaken if something unexpected happens during the interview? Will you be shaken if something unexpected happens during the interview? You should shake his beliefs by providing strong evidence. You should shake his beliefs by providing strong evidence. We shouldn't shake his confidence with unnecessary criticism. We shouldn't shake his confidence with unnecessary criticism. 
Could you shake his thoughts by presenting a different perspective? Could you shake his thoughts by presenting a different perspective? I usually uncover my head when I am indoors. I usually uncover my head when I am indoors. I don't usually uncover my head when I am outdoors due to the ultraviolet rays. I don't usually uncover my head when I am outdoors due to the ultraviolet rays. Do you usually uncover your feelings when you talk to your family? Do you usually uncover your feelings when you talk to your family? I uncovered an old photo in the attic yesterday. I uncovered an old photo in the attic yesterday. I didn't uncover any useful information during my research last week. I didn't uncover any useful information during my research last week. Did you uncover the truth about the incident? Did you uncover the truth about the incident? I will uncover the mystery if I continue my investigation. I will uncover the mystery if I continue my investigation. I won't uncover the solution if I don't think creatively. I won't uncover the solution if I don't think creatively. Will you uncover any new discoveries in your expedition? Will you uncover any new discoveries in your expedition? We should uncover the root cause of the problem to solve it effectively. We should uncover the root cause of the problem to solve it effectively. We shouldn't uncover personal details without consent. We shouldn't uncover personal details without consent. Could you uncover the hidden meaning in this poem? Could you uncover the hidden meaning in this poem? I usually snatch a quick lunch during work hours. I usually snatch a quick lunch during work hours. I don't usually snatch things from others. I don't usually snatch things from others. Do you usually snatch the newspaper to read it first in the morning? Do you usually snatch the newspaper to read it first in the morning? I snatched the last ticket to the concert yesterday. I snatched the last ticket to the concert yesterday. I didn't snatch the opportunity when it came last week. I didn't snatch the opportunity when it came last week. Did you snatch a moment of rest during the busy day? Did you snatch a moment of rest during the busy day? I will snatch the chance to speak at the conference if I can. I will snatch the chance to speak at the conference if I can. I won't snatch the last slice of pizza from you. I won't snatch the last slice of pizza from you. Will you snatch the opportunity to travel if it arises? Will you snatch the opportunity to travel if it arises? You should snatch the chance to study abroad. You should snatch the chance to study abroad. We shouldn't snatch other people's ideas without giving credit. We shouldn't snatch other people's ideas without giving credit. Could you snatch a few minutes to discuss this? 
Could you snatch a few minutes to discuss this? Listen carefully. 1. Shake. Present tense. I usually shake hands when I meet new people. I don't usually shake hands when I meet new people. Do you usually shake hands when you meet new people? Past tense. I shook the blanket outside to clean it yesterday. I didn't shake the blanket outside to clean it last week. Did you shake the blanket outside to clean it? Future tense. I will be shaken if I hear unexpected news. I won't be shaken even if I face a difficult situation. Will you be shaken if something unexpected happens during the interview? Use of modal verbs. You should shake his beliefs by providing strong evidence. We shouldn't shake his confidence with unnecessary criticism. Could you shake his thoughts by presenting a different perspective? 2. Uncover. Present tense. I usually uncover my head when I am indoors. I don't usually uncover my head when I am outdoors due to the ultraviolet rays. Do you usually uncover your feelings when you talk to your family? Past tense. I uncovered an old photo in the attic yesterday. I didn't uncover any useful information during my research last week. Did you uncover the truth about the incident? Future tense. I will uncover the mystery if I continue my investigation. I won't uncover the solution if I don't think creatively. Will you uncover any new discoveries in your expedition? Use of modal verbs. We should uncover the root cause of the problem to solve it effectively. We shouldn't uncover personal details without consent. Could you uncover the hidden meaning in this poem? 3. Snatch. Present tense. I usually snatch a quick lunch during work hours. I don't usually snatch things from others. Do you usually snatch the newspaper to read it first in the morning? Past tense. I snatched the last ticket to the concert yesterday. I didn't snatch the opportunity when it came last week. Did you snatch a moment of rest during the busy day? Future tense. I will snatch the chance to speak at the conference if I can. I won't snatch the last slice of pizza from you. Will you snatch the opportunity to travel if it arises? Use of modal verbs. You should snatch the chance to study abroad. We shouldn't snatch other people's ideas without giving credit. Could you snatch a few minutes to discuss this? Today, I practiced making sentences using three words. Try practicing making sentences yourself regularly. You'll notice your English skills improving day by day. Stay tuned for daily exercises and let's make learning English an awesome experience. See you in the next video.